a show that has its characters crashing through the crowded halls and dodging girls like ping pong balls, it's shocking to think that some scenes would be too bizarre for viewers. Well, we found some scenes from Loud House that are so nuts, they had to be cut from the show. Stay tuned until the end to see the grossest, craziest deleted Loud House scene of all time. Want to stay in the loop with our newest videos? Hit that notification bell and click the thumbs up button below. Now let's get to the 10 most bizarre scenes deleted from Loud House. You guys aren't going to believe some of these. Lynn brushing her teeth. In the episode, Linner Takes All, Lincoln points out that Lynn is way too competitive during family game nights. She wins every game they play, and then she does terrible things to gloat about her win. She flips game boards, dances on the table shouting, Linner Linner chicken dinner. She's pretty much the queen of gloat. The gang gets pretty tired of Lynn being so full of herself. So they play a game they know she can't win called Settlers of Catland. She inevitably loses, and that's when things get really bad. Lynn becomes obsessed with reclaiming her undefeated status in the house, so she competes with the loud kids about everything. One of the things she turns into a competition is brushing her teeth. In the final episode, Lynn brushes her teeth so hard a tooth pops out. But in an earlier deleted scene, according to a storyboard, Lynn brushes her teeth so hard it causes her gums to bleed. It's unclear why they deleted this scene. As a fellow YouTuber pointed out, there are lots of scenes where Clyde gets a bloody nose every time he sees Lori, so it's clear that they have no problem with blood. Maybe they thought this scene crossed the line, so they went with the tooth falling out instead. Backed into a corner When you've got 10 sisters, it can be hard to get any attention to yourself. That's how Lincoln felt in the episode titled Attention Deficit. In this episode, Lincoln is trying to get his parents to help him with a volcano he is making for his school project. But Lincoln's parents are preoccupied with all of his sisters, so he winds up going to school with a sloppy, subpar volcano. When Lincoln sees Clyde's nice, neat volcano, he compliments it. Clyde tells Lincoln that his dad's helped him and offers for his dad's to help Lincoln as well. So Lincoln goes over to Clyde's place. He's totally blown away with how much attention he gets from Clyde's dad's. When Lincoln goes back home, he shares with his sister Lynn how great it is at the McBride's house. Lynn decides to go see for herself. Well, eventually word gets around that Clyde's house is the place to be. It must have driven Howard and Harold nuts because they send them all home. But there is a scene that was deleted that showed the sisters backing Clyde's dads into a corner begging for attention. It must have been cut for time, but it clearly demonstrates how desperate Clyde's dads were for some peace and quiet. Making the Grade In the episode titled Making the Grade, Lisa leaves her kindergarten class and joins Lincoln's fifth grade class. When Lincoln asks Lisa why she's invading his class, she tells him that kindergarten is too much of a waste of time. Well, it turns out Lisa doesn't fit in so well with her fifth grade classmates. She causes quite a disruption, which threatens Lincoln's popularity in school. So Lincoln convinces Lisa to be more like the other kids. Lisa decides this would be a good sociological challenge. So she agrees to act like an average student. Lisa ditches her glasses, gets rid of her science equipment, and puts boy band posters up in her bedroom. She totally dumbs herself down, which causes a lot of problems in the Loud House. They all really depend on Lisa's genius abilities to help them out. Lincoln finally convinces Lisa to be her normal self and go back to kindergarten. Lisa agrees, but there is a deleted scene where Lisa changes from her average self back to her genius self. She rips off the pieces of her new look and puts her glasses back on. They probably cut that for time as well, but Lisa does make it back to kindergarten. Deleted April Fool's Prank In April Fool's Rules, the family is terrorized by Luann on April Fool's Day. Every year, Luann becomes a crazy prank monster and performs the most epic pranks of all time on her siblings and parents. And this year is no exception. Luann unleashes the most hilarious, most destructive, most humiliating pranks ever on the Loud family. There are so many pranks in this episode, you really start to feel sorry for Lincoln and the other sisters. But there was an extra prank that got cut, probably because it made the episode too long. According to the storyboards, Lincoln wakes up in the morning to find that Luann has lined his entire floor with cups full of water. In order for him to get out of his room, he has to drink all the cups of water. When he finally makes it to his door, he discovers that the hallway is also filled with cups of water. He has to drink those too. By the time he gets to the end of the hall, he obviously has to use the bathroom, but when he grabs the doorknob, it breaks off in his hand. Luann zip lines in and laughs at him. It's funny, but ultimately, he didn't make the final episode. More deleted pranks. 
There are a couple more pranks that were deleted from April Fool's rules. Luann really brings the pain in this episode. For real, this girl is relentless. In this deleted prank scene, Clyde is the victim of Luann's antics. The storyboards show Clyde walking up the steps to the Loud House. Clyde's foot trips a wire that makes the sprinkler spray him. Then the sprinkler turns on a leaf blower, which blows a bunch of hay onto Clyde, or whatever that stuff is. The hay sticks to his soaked body. Then Luann unleashes the crows on him. The crows swoop down and attack poor Clyde. Then there's another deleted scene where a clearly distressed Lincoln is inside, looking at a blueprint of the house. He runs upstairs, and it cuts to a wide shot of the outside of the house. There is all this commotion, and then, from an even wider shot, we see a huge explosion coming from the house. It's not clear what the prank was that caused the explosion, but it must have been something pretty major. We'll probably never know because that scene ended up on the cutting room floor. What was your favorite prank from that episode? Tell us in the comments. Lenny cries for Donnie. In the Loud House episode titled, Lock and Loud, the kids get in trouble for not locking the door at night. Lynn Sr. warns the kids that there could be a burglar in the neighborhood, so they must keep the doors locked at night. Then Lynn tries to teach Lenny and Lola how to defend themselves against a life-sized burglar doll. But it doesn't work because Lenny starts flirting with the doll. She even takes a selfie with it. Later in the episode, Lincoln and Clyde learn from the police scanner that the burglar has been caught. Lincoln shouts down the hallway the news of the burglar's capture. Then all the siblings cheer in the hall. Well, everyone except for Lenny. Aww, adorably clueless Lenny. She looks at the selfie she took with the burglar doll, who she calls Donnie, and says that they should have run off to Mexico when they had the chance. And here is where a scene was deleted. The storyboards show Lenny shedding a tear on her phone, looking at the selfie of her and Donnie. The tear splashes down on the picture of the happy couple. But this scene didn't make the cut. Maybe that extra moment slowed the momentum of the episode. Lily punches her hand. In the same episode where the loud kids are worried about a burglar, they go to great lengths to protect themselves. We know that Lynn tries to teach Lenny and Lola how to defend themselves from Donnie, the burglar doll, but they also take other precautions. Lincoln's sisters run and stash their prized possessions in the bathroom. When Lincoln asks why they're choosing the bathroom as the prime hiding spot, Lisa reveals that she's had cameras installed in the bathroom since last year. Whoa, Lisa! Not cool! That's just downright gross. Then, Lana dresses up as a burglar to try to teach their dog, Charles, to be a vicious guard dog. But Charles' laziness gets in the way. It seems to be pretty obvious that the loud kids are capable of defending themselves against any unwitting burglar who might make the mistake of invading their house. Even the baby seems tough and intimidating. In the storyboards, little Lily is seen slamming her fist into her other baby hand as if to say she's ready for a fight. We don't know about you guys, but we're pretty sure we wouldn't want to mess with that baby. In the end, the only one trying to break into the house was Lynn Sr. Go figure. Fandom Pains There's an episode called Fandom Pains, where it's revealed that Lucy loves watching a show called The Vampire's Melancholia. Lucy takes her private viewing time of this show very seriously. She even cuddles up to a bust of her favorite character from the show, Edwin. But Lucy's sisters ruin it all when they burst in and insist on watching the show with her. They have a crush on Blake Bradley. His character name is Tristan. Let's just say Lucy is less than thrilled at her sisters invading her private vampire time. So she tries to convince them to stop watching the show, but nothing works. If anything, Lucy just fueled their love for the show, which is becoming more shallow because of Tristan's presence. Lucy decides that the best way to get things back to normal is to get people to sign a petition calling for Tristan's removal from the show. This is where the deleted scene would have been. Someone got a hold of a picture of the script and it shows the missing scene. In the scene, Lucy and her Mortician's Club friends are protesting outside the local news station with signs. They're chanting, the bro must go. Apparently, that scene had to go too. Tricked. This is the most fun Loud House deleted scene we found, and we had to share it with you guys. In this episode, appropriately titled Tricked, it's Halloween, and Lincoln and Clyde have a plan to score some major candy. They share a dream of getting full-sized candy bars to maximize their trick-or-treating efforts. So they decide to go to a fancy neighborhood where the good stuff is. They skip the part where Lincoln and Clyde actually get the large candy bars and cut right to them walking down the street with bags full of candy. The scene they deleted is pretty awesome. They knock on the door at an estate in Huntington Manor, and a woman answers. She offers them a tray of bite-sized pieces of candy. The boys are disappointed at first, 
Then the fancy lady tells them that those are the sample-sized candies. Once they pick their favorites, she'll give them the full-sized candies. Then a heavenly choir sings as the boys rejoice in hitting the candy jackpot. A butler rolls out an entire cart of candy and throws confetti on them as they celebrate. The scene is really funny. It's a shame they had to cut it from the episode. Fool me twice. We've got another totally inappropriate deleted scene from the show's third April Fool's episode named Fool Me Twice. This time, the Loud family tries to avoid Luann's obnoxious pranks by going in disguise and hiring stunt doubles. As the family hides in the garage, the stunt doubles go in the house and pretend to be the family, but nothing happens to them. That's because Luann knew all along that they hired stunt doubles. It turns out, she has a diabolical plan to prank them even worse than ever before. But before that happens, there was apparently a deleted scene in which Clyde was disguised as an old man in a wheelchair. He appears to be spying on Luann. But here's the totally gross part. Clyde was relieving himself in a bag while he was spying. See that yellow liquid by his leg? Ew! Miguel Puga posted the storyboard on his Tumblr site. He said the scene was removed for obvious reasons. Yeah, we can definitely understand why they didn't put that scene in the episode. What's your favorite deleted scene from The Loud House? Did we miss a cut scene that you feel should have made this list? If so, let us know in the comments. And those were the most bizarre deleted scenes we found from Loud House. Thanks for checking it out. Deuces!